impetus, a driving force, impulse, incentive, stimulus, stimulation or encouragement resulting in increased activity, the property possessed by a moving body in virtue of its mass and its motion, used of bodies moving suddenly or violently in to indicate the origin and intensity of the motion. There's that, Capricorn. Okay, back to your reading, darling. We finished off with emotions. We have the King of Fire here. Holy be Jesus. Okay, I'm diving right in because I don't want to do three videos. <laughs> and then you have the Ten of Wands. So we have boop 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 do. <laughs> Okay, so after, you may get on whatever opportunity this was, like, psh, okay, so you got the stage power here, the death and rebirth, but you're handling it really gracefully, I'm getting, because emotions are here, so you're kind of integrating your wisdom with your emotions and, like, letting them guide you through this process, which is making you highly desirable and very determined here. Okay. And then you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So you're either creating a legacy that you're going to leave behind or you're inheriting one or you're stepping into it or something, something, something with all the Pentacles. Okay. This is Ten of Earth right here. And then you have Perception. Okay, let's see if that works better. Nope. Interesting. The reflecting of the reflections. Okay, let's read perception for you here. Jeez, and rise, Capricorn. My Mars is in Capricorn, but that's, uh, I don't think that's, um, the dangle dangle. This is really freaking bomb energy, Capricorn. Ready, set, grow. Okay. So this, the keywords for this are perception, understanding, worldview, opinion of self, clarity, and objectivity. Perception shapes your worldview. Understand what your senses tell you. Knowledge and understanding are limited. Challenged perception cannot be unchanged. Is your perception clouded? Take the high ground. Seek a new perspective. Challenge your perception. Who influences your perception? Do you have all the facts? Represent yourself honestly. Watch for false perception. So perception, the fifth of the influence cards, pertains to the organization, identification, and interpretation of sensory information in order to understand what we sense and experience. When the perception card appears in your reading, it symbolizes an opportunity or need to look at how you analyze and interpret your experiences and how your interpretation then influences your choices and ability to see and weigh options and opportunities. Our lives are built upon the foundations laid by our perception. How we perceive the world and those around us influences our ability to learn, our understanding of cause and effect, and our ability to see and weigh our options and to make decisions. There is no area of our life that is not influenced by our perception. Our lives can be empowered and fulfilled because we now have, we now, because how we perceive our re of reality gives us, sorry, gives us confidence or our lives can be destroyed in an instant if our idea of what is real is revealed to be a lie and our perception is shattered. Our perception can be accurate and precise. It can also be false and founded in misinformation, illusion, or imagination. Our knowledge, the knowledge we possess that is born of education, study, and practical application can increase our perceptiveness. However, our knowledge can be limited. It can be inaccurate and flawed. 
For example, our knowledge of other people is limited by the fact we only know what they reveal to us. And when we process and analyze that information by making comparisons to ourselves, however, they are not us. They might be like us in some ways, but completely different in more ways. We do not know their innermost thoughts and feelings, so we know of them. So what we know of them is often based on a little fact, on little fact and a lot of assumption. Have you ever heard the story of the six blind men and the elephant? They stand before the elephant. The first man stands at the elephant's head, his hands upon the elephant's trunk. Because of the way elephant's trunk is shaped and feels moving beneath his hands, he believes that the elephant itself is like a snake. The second man stands at the elephant's tusk. Because of the way its tapered shape and pointed end feels beneath his hands, the second man believes that the elephant is like a sphere. The third man stands. Oh, the third man stands at the elephant's ear. Because of the way it is shaped and feels flat and waving from side to side, he believes the elephant is like a fan. The fourth man stands at the elephant's leg. Because of its thickness and strength of the elephant's leg, he believes the elephant is like a tree. The fifth man stands at the elephant's side, and when he feels the mighty expanse, he believes that the elephant is like a wall. Finally, the sixth man stands at the elephant's tail, and because of the way it feels, he believes that the elephant is like a rope. With six totally disparate options, and opinions based upon the information each blind man has possessed, the men fall into conflict. Each believes he is right and the other is wrong. The blind man, the blind men begin to war with each other, so fixated on their own beliefs that they are willing to inflict harm. Suddenly, a sighted man comes upon them and shouts for them to cease. He asks them why they are fighting, and so each of the blind men tells him the tale. The sighted man looks at the elephant and then to the blind men before him. He says, but you are all right. The elephant's trunk is like a snake, the elephant's tusk like a spear, the elephant's ear like a fan, the elephant's leg like a tree trunk, his side like a wall, and his tail like a rope. But you are also wrong, because each of the parts you have touched are all just parts of the whole elephant. Each of the blind men then circles the elephant, touching the other parts. With, the new inf with this new information, the new multiple perspectives offered, each is willing to concede that he has both been correct and incorrect at the same time. Their increased perception, born of multitude, a multiple, born of multiple perceptions, has finally allowed them to see the whole elephant and the big picture. Our perception can shift and alter and be enhanced in a heartbeat. Once new information born of a different perspective is provided, once it is altered, it cannot be restored to what it was. Having touched all of the parts of the elephant, the blind men could no longer hold fast to their original opinions. Even if what we believe is to be true is revealed to be an illusion, and what we once perceived to be an illusion is revealed to be a truth, there is no reset button for our perception. Our perception of what is is simply changes and alters as our awareness increases. Every change to our perception changes our reality, and every change to our reality influences the choices we make. One more. One more, darling, knowledge. Okay. So that's, that's a good card to perception, understanding it, how it operates in your world and how it influences your choices as well. I'm getting there's a lot of choices to be made here. And I get that you're trying to seek out some truth here. And you're letting some things die. Some, some perceptions and whatnot I'm getting are dying here. Oh, that's cool. That's a good thing, right? Because if some of those did, if they just stayed forever. 
how is growth going to happen if there's no death in the earth? They just like to stick together like birds. There we go. Knowledge. Okay. Pretty important things all over this card, too. So we're going to try to get it. Kitty kid. Okay. Knowledge, skills, understanding, training, education, and practical experience. We exist to learn as we learn to exist. Knowledge is power. Has your past education served you? Do not limit your potential for learning. A time of new study and learning. An opportunity to learn about people and the world. Surround yourself with books and information. Does bias and unfounded prejudice close you to new knowledge? Improve upon the knowledge that you have. Where is your knowledge taking you? Does what you are learning now serve a practical purpose? Create a better future by continuing your studies. So the meaning of this, the knowledge card represents the first of eight primary reasons for being, the acquisition of knowledge. We are in physical forms, exist to learn as we learn to exist. Knowledge is power and without it, we are powerless. It is knowledge that enables you to learn to earn a living. It is knowledge that enables you to cook your meals. It is knowledge that enables you to treat a wound so that you can prevent infection. It is knowledge that enables you to move through your day and you live your life. Without knowledge and the ability to acquire it, humanity would not be the evolved species that it is. Cappy McCapperton. You got the boss energy here. And you need to make sure that you treat this very, very powerful energy that you now possess with extreme respect. I just watched, binge watched Midnight Mass. On Netflix, I broke down. I watched. A, I started watching a review of it, and I broke down. And I actually subscribed to Netflix. I know I'm going to burn in some sort of person's perception of hell, but not my own. Um, and I watched the whole thing. Um, that gives you a lot of perceptions, and it helps you understand each person's perception. And yeah, I, if you want perception, just I, I would I'd, I'd go watch it a little bit. I think that there are a little bit misperceptions in some of it, but like the majority of it's pretty gives you a good perspective of all different angles of it. So, what are you going to do with it, Kepi? I, I feel like I'd be disrespecting the read by getting clarified. Um, let's see. Uh, what does Capricorn need to know with here? Let's get the perception. Let's go with the perception because that's the, the thing that's drawing my complete and total attention. Perception. What do we need to know for Capricorn in this perception, this new perception coming in? Yeah, um, this, if this is your full moon spread, good God almighty Capricorn. You know Capricorn, you better be nice with Capricorn. It's, it's, oh my God. Okay, freaking, I have three, three other signs to read for it, but so far <laughs> Capricorn is like mastering this. Yep, not fussing and fighting, not nothing about it not losing any sleep not doing any black magic and you see your option okay so you have basically perceived all of this so you've perceived what it the power of silence is what i'm getting from this card the power of like laying your weapon down and being like this isn't what's in my core 
This is not what I'm about. I'm not about fucking battle and warlording all over the fucking place. And then you get the nine. If it makes me lose sleep, it needs to get the F out of my life. If it interrupts my mental space and threatens my love, this is a rose. Rose is represent its frequency, energy, vibration is pure love. If it if it interrupts that process, it's gone. Bye, Felicia. If you're going to inflict your will upon me, you got to go. And you see that these are all options for people to choose. Ooh, child. Yep. Yeah. Temperance. Mm-hmm. 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 A balance of the energies. Nice. Nice, Capricorn. Oh, what else does Capricorn need clarification on? I feel like I just, I'm like, I can't even give you advice on this. <laughs> You're in your heart. You're in your Ace of Cups. I can't, I don't, like, this is like, okay. Just be cautious when you're picking. And look at here, look at even with this skull and the snake's tail going through its eyes. Yep. Learn how to see things. But there's that eye again back here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like, there's that eyeball right there. You can get the glare off of it a little bit. But there's like, it's like there's a dragon. I don't know how to explain this. This looks like half a dragon right here, right? With this energy right here. But then if you take this away, this eyeball is freaking huge. It's huge. It's mammoth. Dude. Like you got eyeballs everywhere in this read. The only thing... And the eye, the eye in this card is in the tree. And her eyes are being covered here. But this one, look at, she took your mask off. For those that are closest to you. Ten of Pentacles. Those that are in your immediate circle, you take your mask off for. But other than that, you're looking through the eyes of whatever eyes again and there's a lion down here eyes one two three eyes four this looks like an eye too and this dude this dude he looks like he's looking right through you yeah, I see. We're gonna use your phone. Hoo <laughs> Okay. Is your third eye open, Capricorn? Because if it's not, I'm getting it's going to be. The third eye here, third eye here, third eye here, third eye here, third eye here. This guy's got eye this guy's got an owl and a wolf looking for him. Snake here. Protecting. There's a, oh, there's a little froggy there too. Um, and then there's a secret eye. Yeah. I feel like this is going to open your third eye. Here. Okay. So. It's, it's a big thing, but it's not really what people make it out to be. Um. You just, your third eye opening is a way for you to now start really interpreting frequency, energy, vibration. You're going to be able to see things, perceive things, and pick up on patterns almost instantly. So like when this presents itself to you, you're going to, you're going to know instinctively how that translates out into the universe and then comes back down and is transferred back into your life. That's what I'm getting here.
because there's this this almost feels like an alchemy process that looks like the philosopher's stone he's got there in his hands yeah so it's not just your perception that's going to be heightened here it's your awareness So it's fun, it's exciting, but at the same time, if you're running to not nice stuff, you're, you're gonna need to know, just, just kind of hmm, observe and then just kind of stay away from it. Just back away. You know, don't make any definitely fusses or fights about it or anything. Remember free will is a thing. People have a choice to do what they need to do with their own energy for whatever and whatnot. So just keep in mind that um, along with your powerful perception here, you have an awareness. And with that awareness, your perception is going to expand even further. It's going to keep expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding. So um, this isn't necessary. I feel like you're already awakened. You're already doing it. You're already on it. You're already spinning with it. This is a major, major shift into an upgrade. So prepare yourself for even more. So you, you know how this process works. You're confronted with something that's not so comfortable. And then you've got to learn how to see it from all different angles. Remember? Analyze it from all different angles here. Get your book on. Okay? Get to, I'm getting like this is puzzle pieces being put together like there's all these little trinket things that are coming in and they, they will probably most likely come through your emotions few people understand that it has it has little to do with these perceptors in here but it's most likely the emotional body that's going to be completely and totally involved in this process then you, once you feel the emotions, you're going to be like, why am I here right now? What do I need to see? Okay. That in and of itself. You ready? Repeat after me. That's huge. That's brave energy to step into. That's brave energy to be in. Because you, I see you're already in that hair. Because a lot of times we see what we're really uncomfortable with and it is it can be very disturbing and upsetting but you sat through it already you've already sat through it I'm getting on several different occasions because you you don't get this energy for nothing so you've learned how to sit with this energy this is easy peasy lemon squeezy for you but this is gonna come with this full moon energy here this is going to come yeah so while we're emotionally triggered right we can get irate and upset and then get extremely frustrated that people can't see particular truths to reality. This can be a very complicated and a little bit upsetting experience to have. So remembering to breathe, remembering to release that upsetted frustration and anger in healthy ways. Okay. If that means screaming your bloody guts out into a fucking pillow and then punching the crap out of it, that's what you do. There's no shame in that. I'm so sick and tired of people, especially because women get it worse than men do. You can't be pissed off. 
men can take it to the gym and just punch a punching bag. Now, I'm not saying women can't, can't do that, but some of us are like, I really don't want to put on a bunch of fucking tape and some freaking thingy things. I just want a pillow and I, I want, because like, again, you're at the gym. So you're like, you've got to like, you can't vocalize it. I need to vocalize. I need to get it out of my system how I need to get it out of my system. Okay, so find what works best for you. Find and understand that there's nothing wrong with getting, I don't care if you take a crowbar out into where, bum fuck, whatever. Do it. Do it for your own mental sanity. Do it for your soul. Do it so you can keep going without picking up any horrendous dis-ease is. Because that emotion will sit in your body and it will fester. Learn how to release in a healthy way. Learn how to offer this up in a way that sets you free rather than makes you feel like a slave again. Okay, okay. Ah, swan and skunk. <laughs> Happy. They're so sweet. Oh my god. I don't know now if I got time to read these. Son of a monkey's butt nugget. You're just gonna have to go get it. Let's read this one first because this swan is really powerful. Ooh. I know that some people don't like her and you don't have to buy her books, but she has a lot of free videos on the internet that you can totally make use of. Teal Swan. I know. I know my ear. Then don't buy her books, but some of her medicine is really good and it's free on the inner minutes. Okay, so it's not like she's. If you don't want to, it doesn't speak to you, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, Grace. Swan, the power of woman entering sacred space, touching future yet to come, bring eternal grace. Okay. Are we free of the glared mint glared okay, but I don't want my face in the shot either. <laughs> okay. Little Swan flew through the dream time looking for the future. She rested for a moment in the coolness of the pond, looking for a way to find the entry point to the future. This was a moment of confusion for Swan, as she knew that she had happened into the dream time by accident. This was for her first flight alone, and she was a bit concerned by dr by the dream time landscape. As Swan looked high above Sacred Mountain, she saw that the biggest swirling black hole she had ever seen, Dragonfly, came flying by, and Swan stopped him to ask him about the black hole. Dragonfly said, Swan, that is the doorway to other planes of imagination. I have been guardian of the illusion for many, many moons. If you want to enter there, you would have to ask permission and earn the right Swan was not so sure that she wanted to enter the black hole. She asked Dragonfly what was necessary for her to earn entry. Dragonfly replied, You must be willing to accept whatever the future holds at it as it is presented without trying to change Great Spirit's plan. Swan looked at her ugly little duckling body and then answered, I will be happy to abide by Great Spirit's plan. I won't fight the currents of black hole. I will surrender to the flow of the of the spiral and trust what I am shown. Dragonfly was very happy with Swan's answer and began to spin the magic to break the pond's illusion. Suddenly, Swan was engulfed by a whirlpool in the center of the pond. Swan reappeared many days later, but now she was a graceful and white and long-necked. Dragonfly was stunned. Swan, what happened to you? he exclaimed. Swan smiled back and said, Dragonfly, I have learned to surrender my body to the power of great spirit and was taken to where the future lives. I saw many wonders high on sacred mountain and because of my faith and my acceptance, I have been changed. I have learned to accept the state of grace. Dragonfly was very happy for Swan. Swan and Dragonfly many to, Swan told Dragonfly many of the wonders beyond the illusion through her healing and her acceptance of the state of grace she was given the right to enter the dream time 
So it is that we learn to surrender to the grace of the rhythm of the universe and slip from our physical bodies into the dream time. Swan medicine teaches us to be at one with all planes of consciousness and to trust in great spirit's protection. If you pulled swan, it ushers in dream in a time of altered states of awareness and a development in of your intuitive abilities. Swan medicine people have the ability to see the future, to surrender to the power of great spirit and to accept the healing and transformation of their lives. The swan card is calling you to accept your ability to know what lies ahead. If you are resisting your self transformation, relax. It will be easier if you go with the flow. Stop denying that you know who is calling when the phone rings. Pay attention to your hunches and your gut knowledge and honor your female intuitive side. Okay. So oftentimes we think the big black hole is something horrible, but science figured out that it's just the infinity symbol moving <laughs> back and forth. So it's just a huge process of you understanding what you're putting up as the, as a value onto the conveyor belt, right? Only it's much more condensed in a very personal manner, okay? And then you get to learn how you put things out into the collective, right? So this is going in, in dream time, astral travel astral projection yada 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 maybe look into those some sometime soon in the near future <sighs> maybe start writing some things down i'm getting like nostradamus stuff here um I'm going to hold off on skunk because this is, uh, this is a lot, you guys. This is a lot. This is a lot. Be gentle with yourselves. Understand that you're, you're meant to do this. You're meant to be on this path. Um, be gracious. Be graceful and gracious. Okay. With yourself. And that'll just fall in alignment with other people. Yeah, definitely go watch that Midnight Mass. Definitely go watch it. Hope this helps. Okay, Capricorn, thanks for blowing my mind today. I appreciate you. And may you keep the flame and have a gorgeous full moon. <laughs> I'll see you next time.